Oh. <laughs> what you got there? Uh -huh. uh, Kinetic sand? Yeah. Harrison, can you say good morning, campers? Can you say good morning, campers? No, you're just going to try and get that stick out because you think it's a spoon and then you think you can eat that sand, which you can't. It's got to, oh no, a piece fell off. Here, we'll put it in this bin. This is our Play-Doh bin, but since you dumped the Play-Doh out. There you go. I bet. Yeah, you can see the imprint. But then you can see this, look at. So this is set to autofocus when it needs to be on manual. That's why a lot of things are blurry. Let me fix that. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, look at that autofocus. Good job. You thirsty? Look at all that paper over there that Harrison pulled out of that box. Always keeping me on my toes, aren't you, son? We were going to have lasagna for dinner tonight, but um, I don't have all of the ingredients for lasagna. We were going to go grocery shopping once this guy got up from his nap. Boop. But he slept for three hours today during his nap. One to four. And that is not enough time for me to make lasagna to be done at five o'clock with the grocery shopping and all the browning the meat and all of that stuff. So we are having leftovers. Um, we have some leftovers from our uh, stir fry that I made yesterday, which was really good by the way. The only thing that I need to work on is portioning out my vegetables better because as you can see, I had so many vegetables in that little pan that some of them turned too soggy and some of them didn't get browned enough. So I need to figure out how to do that a little bit better so that I can have more like browned vegetables. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're gonna have leftovers. Thank goodness I made enough. And yeah, I don't really have a lot to say today. We are supposed to get a huge storm over the weekend. So tomorrow we are definitely going to go grocery shopping because we need some food to survive over the weekend. And if I don't have anything to make dinner tonight, then I don't have anything to make dinner the rest of the weekend. Sorry, Rue. I'm sorry that I locked you out. Come on in. Please don't make the same mistake we did and think you're getting a gate with a cat door, but really it's a dog door and then your baby crawls through it. Please don't make that mistake. So yeah, tomorrow we're going grocery shopping. I don't know what we're going to get. I don't know what we're planning for. I think we're also getting our Hel our next HelloFresh box delivered. Um, my arms are a little sore from volleyball, so I'm trying to lean and it's not very, it's not very pretty. Um, the meals that we got from our last HelloFresh box were really good. We are just working on seeing if, what portion size we need because they have meals for two servings or meals for four servings and the one of the recipes we made, it was a chicken penne pomodoro, which was really good. It was penne noodles and like a marinara sauce and chicken. That was enough for like six servings. And then the next thing we made was um, apricot chicken, which was delicious. But we had, a, we had a lot of meat. We didn't have a lot of vegetables. So we, I guess we had extra potatoes, but we didn't have extra green beans. So I guess we just need to see, test it out because we obviously want Harrison to have enough so that he can eat and we want, you know, enough so that we're satisfied. But I don't know if we need that extra yet. 
I can use the extra leftovers for Tiffany's lunch the next day, but I don't know. Just some things we need to to look at and try. But I think our next delivery comes this weekend. Yeah. So I am looking forward to new recipes. I'm looking forward to new dinners, new flavors, because did you guys ever get in that funk where you eat the same things over and over and then you're like, please, no more tacos. No more burgers. No more pizza. No, <laughs> who can really say that? No more pizza, come on. Come on. Lately, Harrison has been, well, I can't say lately. Harrison was playing pretty independently when I was making dinner. Sometimes I would have to lock the gate, but I knew he was safe in the living room. And sometimes he would even like watch Sesame Street while I was making dinner, even getting together leftovers. But now he's super interested in what I am doing. And he either wants to be in that stand next to me or he wants me to hold him the entire time that I'm making food. So needless to say, my arm is tired especially after volleyball last night. But thank goodness I'm only doing leftovers today so it won't take me very long to warm it up. Huh. Huh. Boop. Ah! <laughs> 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 I don't know why I always snore like how I perceive an old man to snore. <laughs> an old man? <coughs> you could say that a middle-aged woman <laughs> snores like that. <laughs> why? Is that how I snore for real? It's very loud. I snore? I like, snore? Like, I snore? Since when? Since when? Like the loudest you can snort? That's how loud you snore it. Yeah. No, I yes. don't. There's no way. Yes, there have been nights where I've been woken up by Harrison and I either stay in the nursery because you're snoring so loud or I stay up for a few hours. No. Yeah. The other day... <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, let's not do that. You know what? I've been thinking and I decided no. Why not? I don't know why. I just, I guess I kind of feel like it. Do you, do you want to do something else instead? Yeah, go get the animals. Let's do that instead. Yeah, we can play with the animals. Go find Chet. I call Chet. Chet is the horse. Oh. Looks like a Chet. I thought it was the donkey. I didn't name the donkey anything yet. Oh, but the cow was missing. The cow's gone? I'm sure it's under the couch somewhere. Harrison, what does the cow say? Moo! Yeah, moo! Uh, moo? Yeah, what, are you getting Chet? Uh, Where's the did he leave? Did he leave the horse in the bathroom? No, I just had it out here. Oh. I was galloping him across my body. Oh. You know? Oh, so there's some criticism going around the internet on oh, on um, Jillian Michaels. Why? One of your faves? Cause she's bashing the keto diet again? No, she um so she had made a comment about Lizzo. And the way the comment reads and the way that everybody's taking it. Are completely different? No, no, no. I, I think it's actually... Oh, it's so hard. So, basically, she had said something like, I love Lizzo's music. I don't know her as a person, but I think her music's awesome. My kid loves her music. Uh -huh. But there's a lot of people celebrating her body. And basically, she was just saying, why is it my job to like look at her body and think, you know, yay, she's going to have diabetes someday. Something like that, and I feel like I'm butchering it. I feel like I need to read it now. About that. Yeah. So basically, she's basically saying that she loves her music. Was this a tweet? She was on a talk show. Like, she actually oh, said it. Oh, she so, the way she kind of said it, it was like, she was basically saying that 
she it's not that she doesn't care about who she is she just doesn't want to celebrate the fact that she's overweight like and and she wasn't saying it in a bad way i didn't think mm -hmm. i just thought she was saying it like hey i don't want to celebrate her body because chances are she has a higher risk for diabetes or something like that and that it, makes me sad it does because because it's 2020. Do we really still need to be critiquing other people's bodies? But that's the point. Like, somebody asked, somebody, the talk show person, uh -huh. like, I don't even know if that's where the conversation was, like, going, but I thought it was interesting because I don't think anybody is looking at Lizzo and saying, hey, congratulations that you're overweight. I think they're looking at her and saying, hey, doesn't matter what this girl looks like. She is awesome and she's confident yeah. and it's all about body positivity. Right. Like, I just don't think Jillian Michaels needed to even mention her comment. Right. Like, you know, but I wish there was like a little flag that would pop up when all these people were on Hi. TV and stuff. Hi. <laughs> that would say, oh, whoops, you just said something that might give you backlash. Maybe you should fix it for just a second. Yeah. Because I want to believe in my heart that she wasn't trying to talk poorly about her mm -hmm. i think she was just saying i like her for her music i don't care to like her because she's see that's even wrong too because i just i don't want to yeah it's it's just really hard you know yeah like i'm positive about my body mm -hmm. i don't have many health issues you know concerning weight that i know of right other than when i get a call in a few minutes mm -hmm. i'll find out about my my underneath parts Oh, okay. You know, but, like, I, I don't even know if that could be attributed to weight. But I'm just saying, like, it is 2020. It's it's time to not worry about everybody else. Right. And just let people be. Right, exactly. And I also read a comment real quick that somebody said, you ever watch Lizzo on stage? She's running around for two hours singing, like, right, she's getting her workouts playing in. the flute. Yeah. I can't even walk from here to the door without taking five extra breaths. Right. You know, like, <laughs> I know that's, right, I'm, I know that's a little condescending because I don't have, like, heart or health issues, but, like, I'm just saying, like, I couldn't jump around on stage like Lizzo could. Me. At all. Check out that static hair. Hi. Hi. Literally got a phone call right after I got done with that segment. Uh-huh. And doctor said, I have a cyst on my ovary. Okay. I'm trying to be way more positive about it. Got to go back in and get it checked. Okay. He doesn't think... He doesn't think there's a, there's a huge worry. Because, I mean, and, and I'm not trying to clickbait you guys because I don't know enough yet. But, um... Well, people get cysts on their ovaries all the time. Well, yes, and that's kind of what he was saying. Yeah. It's just that with all of my extra... Other symptoms? Like, bleeding, like, it, there's... There's a little bit of a worry there, so we'll see. Worry for what? I don't know. Oh. So I have to go in and get some, I have to get a different type of ultrasound, um, and they gotta go way up inside, and he said something about scraping Ooh. the lining. Okay. What yeah, is like, he doing? He's trying to poke a hole in the window. No, and he's that, not. Yeah, he is. <laughs> But anyway, that's, it's just funny that right when I got done talking about that, oh my gosh, I have static too. Right when I got done talking about that, I got the call from the doctor. So I'll keep you guys updated. It's not fun um, to like know. A little break. But uh, apparently though, lots of women get these. Like people get them all the time and they just come with that time of the month um, all the time. So he did tell me that. So right now I'm not going to let it worry me. Um, maybe <laughs> Monday when I've let it sink in over the weekend, I might be, holy okay. crap. Yeah. Could this be something really bad? So, I don't know. But anyway, till then, there you go. <laughs> Harrison really does like to help, guys. He does. This is him taking out his diaper trash. Yeah. That smells like a toilet. <laughs> and made you puke. That's not funny. <clears throat> That's true, though. Are you going to help, bud? I'm just going to set it right there. We'll take it out with the garbage when we leave. All right. Well, it looks like we're ready to go. Yeah. What? They were so good the other day, I had to make more. Yeah. That's the cool thing about no bakes, is but they take two seconds to make. They really do. Yeah. I guess that's why they call them no bakes. Well, it could take like four hours to set. Like a cheesecake. It could. Cheesecakes are no bake also, correct? Some are. Yeah, some people. I mean, I mean, 
you can make them in an oven. Yeah. But some people do the one where you put it in the fridge. Yeah. And let it like, set. Put Cool Whip and cream cheese together. I don't know hmm. Where did our child go? We can always tell where he's been. Because we have a slew of toys. Out here. Harrison, I found ham. Mommy found ham. Another tragedy. I found Am. Um. Oh, is he playing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Ones. Well, alright guys, I guess we're gonna head out. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. He just scratched his leg and said 